You're listening to the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network, home of the number one sports talk show on the planet. This is Sports Talk with Hot Sauce, Texas Pete Hot Sauce, the Doug Stewart Show. Broadcasting live Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Time, exclusively on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Follow Stewart Media and Entertainment right now on Facebook and stay connected and locked in for upcoming events like the Couples and Cocktails series, viewing parties, and much, much more. Up next, the Doug Stewart Show, Sports Talk with Hot Sauce. Yeah! Exclusively on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Fantasy sports fans are winning huge cash prizes every day at DraftKings.com, America's favorite place to play daily fantasy sports. Daily fantasy means no season-long commitments. Play whenever you want. Just pick your sport and draft your team. It's like a new season every time you play, so you're never stuck with the same players. Last year, $300 million were won at DraftKings.com, and you could be next to win big. Go to DraftKings.com now and enter promo code STU to play for free. That's Stu for free entry now at DraftKings.com. Also, if you use promo code Stu, DraftKings will match your initial deposit up to $600. Deposit $600, play with $1,200. DraftKings.com, promo code Stu. This is your boy, Doug Stewart, for my folks at System 5 Electronics. They're proud to offer my listeners here in the metro Atlanta area all the way down to Macon, Georgia, the most affordable home security monitoring systems. Featuring smart solutions for that busy lifestyle you lead for as low as $16.50 per month. Here's some of the reasons why you should choose System 5. Hi, I'm Maceo Brown, President and CEO of System 5 Electronics. We take pride in making sure that security is the number one thing that we do. And thanks to you, the customer that has supported us, we have grown this company in Southwest Atlanta but we're creating jobs and opportunities. Not only is their monitoring station here in Atlanta, but they also install the most advanced, up-to-date alarm systems where you can access cameras, lights, door locks, thermostats, and other devices remotely with your smartphone. 24-7 technical support, plus the lowest service call fees in the business. And check this, you own the security alarm system once it's installed. And... You get direct access to the owner if you ever got a problem, Mr. Macy O'Brown. Click on the banner on the Doug Stewart Show website or app for more details or give them a call at 404-756-0736. Again, that's 404-756-0736 or online at System5ElectronicsInc.com. That's System5ElectronicsInc.com. The blind stares of a million pairs of eyes Looking hard but won't realize that they will never see The puppetry must stop We are for real around here The trailers, sports talk show in America The, the Doug, Doug Stewart, Stewart show. show Yes Five. What's happening? What's happening? Welcome to the Doug Stewart Show. March 6, 2015. And it's a free for all Friday. Thank you so much for joining your boy. I really do appreciate it. Yes, 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 yes. And, uh... Man, thank you for joining your boy, man. We're going to get into a lot of little stuff today. There's not a a tremendous amount of great sports stories out there, but we're going to talk about the ones that are. Uh, Get your thoughts, uh, read your chat, your emails, your phone calls, all of that on the Doug Stewart Show on this Free For All Friday. The number to the show is 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the DougStewartShow.com. And I have to say this every single day, man, because we get new listeners Once again, every single day. Uh, Thank you, first of all, for for tuning in. As well as 
Know that when you listen to the Doug Stewart Show, you're going to get that fire. You're going to get the realest, the trealest, the most unfiltered uh, sports talk in America. And that's Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. The show is live, all right? If you're listening to the show right now on a podcast, which a lot of people do, remember, you can listen to the show live. I am doing this live as I speak, okay, Uh, online. Uh, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., the Doug Stewart Show.com. And, but as soon as the show is done, it's posted as a podcast. It's a real great feature on Spreaker. So thank you, Spreaker, for all your technology. We really do appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. So as soon as I'm done at 1, around 1 p.m. Eastern time, it posts as a podcast, and you can go back and listen to it. Uh, this is like our sixth month on air and the show is just doing fantastic. We're about to cross over the 100,000 listen uh, threshold on the Doug Stewart Show. Uh, right around 4,000 followers. So it's going fantastic, man, but we got to continue to get the word out. But if you're listening today for the first time, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Follow the show on Spreaker. Right? Follow the show on Spreaker. Uh, and then once you follow, you can jump in the chat room and be totally interactive. Speaking of which, shouts out to my man, Ralph Scott, Juan Cruz, Jungle Brother, That Ninja, Niner for Life, JB Smooth. Thank you so much for being interactive. All of my stewies. Yes, sir. All of my peoples in the chat room doing their thing, man. All right, so what are we going to get into today, man? A little NBA talk, man. A guy retires from the NFL who I have great admiration for. Uh, a couple of moves made by a particular team in the NFC West. It's a football Friday. Pretty much it's a football show every single day. I mean, that's pretty much what we concentrate on around here. This is a football show, college and pro. But on Friday in particular, we uh, make a more concerted effort to talk about the football stories that are going on in sports. So whatever you want to get into, and it's also a free fall Friday which means, especially on a day like today where there's not a lot of big things going on, whatever you want to get into, we can talk about it. All right, so throw a topic out in the chat room or give me a call and say, man, Stu, I want to talk about this. You know, the other things that people are talking about, they aren't really that interesting. So I'm not just talking sports. I'm talking sports and beyond, (laughs) okay? I'm talking sports and beyond entertainment, whatever you want to get into on the Doug Stewart Show, you can. I mean, it's a guy talk show first. It's not, you know, specifically we just talk about sports, and we were doing this for the longest time on the Two Live Stews, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. But for the longest time, we always said our show was like, you know, it was barbershop talk, okay? It was the conversations that you'd have with your friends, your boys in the basement, or in the barbershop, or we're from the country, under the shade tree, or whatever, all right? So do talk is probably, I'd say, 40% 40 of uh, what we get into on the show uh, consistently. Uh, In sports, it's probably 60%. But on a day like today, whatever you want to talk about, you can. If you want to talk about Chris Brown and this Karuchi chick, (laughs) if you want to talk about that, if you want to talk about what's going on with Bobby Brown, and uh, supposedly word on the street was they were trying to do a reality show uh, tied around what's going on with Bobby Christina. That would have been uh, horrible if that was the case, but he's denying that. Anything going on in the world of entertainment, you can. All right, the number to the show is 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the DougStewartShow.com. But once again, the chat line is the place to be. So I guess the big thing in perusing uh, the old fish rap this morning, as the great Bo Bach used to say back in the day, a guy we used to work with. Um, the thing that kind of jumps out at me, I guess, and even though it's a football Friday, is what's going on in the NBA, and in particular, this MVP race. And I started thinking, man, and for the life of me, I can't remember a time where there's been this close of an MVP race in the NBA. Now, you know Michael Jordan, I mean, for the, for the majority of his career, after, you know, like the first ring that they won with the Chicago Bulls uh, after his seventh year, he pretty much was the best player in basketball year in and year out. And you could have given it to him, simply put, year in and year out. And I guess you kind of got like the same type of thing going on right now with LeBron. Clearly, his skill set 
and his resume and what he's done and his upside, even he's still got you know many years to play in the NBA. You could say LeBron James the best player in the NBA, but once again, it's all about the question is 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 it the best player in the league? And sometimes that changes. It seems like it changes by the win. Is it the best player in the league, or is it the player that's most valuable to their team? And then you kind of add into the uh, into that equation some variables as far as are they winning? Uh, what are their perspectives in the playoffs? That type of thing as well. But the question is, is, is this guy, who's the most valuable player slash best player uh, to their team in the NBA? And you saw last night uh, uh, Russell Westbrook's uh, triple-double streak came to an end as they go down to the Chicago Bulls. He still had a phenomenal night. Uh, over 40 points, 43 points, uh, big night, uh, but did not get the triple-double. So his name's coming to the conversation as far as the MVP in the league right now. And so you know about LeBron, and you know about Westbrook. has been balling out of control, and Westbrook's trying to keep the, the Oklahoma City Thunder in the playoff hunt. Uh, right now they've got the A spot. They don't have Kevin Durant. So what this guy has done over the last couple of weeks has been phenomenal. And his skill set has really come to the forefront. And I talked about it a couple of days ago. It's really a blessing that a guy that takes a lot of flack for being a ball hog and not distributing the basketball to Kevin Durant and being a true, uh, in his purest form, point guard in the NBA, he's gotten a lot of flack, but now he's been able to show his skill set to the world. All right, And everybody's a believer now. And now there's even a conversation about when Durant comes back, should Westbrook stand down? And a lot of people, a lot of these quote-unquote analysts are saying that that's not the case. Like, uh, the deal is off. Like, everything you thought about the Oklahoma City Thunder and Kevin Durant and Westbrook and their relationship on and off the court has changed because of what Westbrook has done over the last couple of weeks. And then you talk about Steph Curry who's just a fantastic player, obviously, um, was the big name early in the year as far as MVP vote. Just a phenomenal player. Did you see the little clip that the Puppet Factory showed of Steph Curry shooting a three-pointer for seemingly from half court and not even looking at it go in? He turns around and starts running back down the court. Phenomenal player. Phenomenal player, man. And mm, James Harden and what's going on right now. With the Houston Rockets and the fact that they don't have Dwight Howard. And Dwight's been uh, missed uh, or hadn't played in a ton of games this year. He's missed, I think, 29 games. And Harden has got a complete game, man. Just a phenomenal player. I can't think of another time, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, that this MVP race has been this tight. Ever. Ever. And you know what happens. Jordan should win it every year, but one year they'll give it to David Robinson. One year, they'll give it to Carl Malone or whatever. So, what are your thoughts on the MVP race right now? Um, getting near playoff times. I think we've still got like 20-plus games left in the season. But who do you like, man, and why? Like, who should be the MVP, you know? And remember now, it's a lot of politics in this thing, and it's all subjective. I mean, Steve Nash won a couple of MVPs. I mean, when Kobe Bryant was still playing basketball. How does that happen? So, yeah, use your, your analyst, you know, view and put your analyst hat on. Who do you like right now? Who do you think should be the NBA MVP? All right? And uh, speaking of which, man, uh, a particular coach in the NBA says that he, nor his organization, is going to campaign for his player to win the award. We'll talk about that up next. I'll read your chat. Don't go away. The Doug Stewart Show. First of all, thank you for listening to The Doug Stewart Show. Now, if you've been listening for a while, you know that we've grown exponentially over the first couple of months. Whether that's listens, whether that's followers, we're blowing up and you can be a part of it. If you have a company out there and you like to promote on The Doug Stewart Show, we'd love to partner with you. Here's what you do. Email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show dot com. Once again, that's Doug at the Doug Stewart Show dot com. Whether that's locally, regionally, or nationally, we can get the word out. What you're talking about is middle-aged dudes that love sports and love exciting sports talk. Once again, email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show dot com. 
That's Doug at thedougstewartshow.com, and we will put you out there. All right? That's Doug at thedougstewartshow.com. Let's do some business. Yes! What is 911 Tax Relief? It's a tax relief company that can help you reduce or remove your IRS or state tax debt. They'll help stop bank levies and wage garnishments by implementing offers and compromise or penalty abatements. 911 Tax Relief is a tax relief company, but they're different from the others. Their experts are licensed and enrolled tax agents, and they also have more than 12 years' experience helping people solve their tax problems. They're a tax relief company that understands how the IRS works, and they'll also put that knowledge to work for you. So, they can get you the best possible settlement or solution to your tax problems. Highly rated by the Better Business Bureau, and they've helped thousands of people solve their tax problems. So, don't play around. Click on their link on my website and let 911 Tax Relief help you in your situation with Uncle Sam. The best of the Doug Stewart Show. So, I'm probably six. So, Jesse Bryant rolls by, and I remember it like it was yesterday. He rolls by in his truck, and for some reason, something in my mind says, pick up a rock and throw it at Jesse. And I hit his truck. And not only did I hit his truck, it was a damn good throw and aim because it hit his windshield. And it cracked his windshield. So he stops and jumps out of the truck. I don't think anybody saw me, but he jumps out and, Isaac, so-and-so, your your grandson hit my truck with 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 a rock. They had a little conversation. I'm like, oh, man, this is bad. This is bad. And sure enough, my grandfather walks up and sees this nick on the on the windshield. And Jesse rolls away. And I know I'm in trouble. My daddy not around. My mother not around. And my grandfather reaches down. And this is God is my witness. Strike me down right here. My grandfather reaches down and pulls off a branch from a rose bush. Yes. Just drags his arm and pulls off the leaves. Thorns are still applied to said switch. You get your ass whooped with a switch is bad enough, but a thorny switch? Oh my gosh. So he commences to busting my ass with a thorny switch. Yes. And you know I was marked up from head to toe. Now, that's probably child abuse. Not saying that what Adrian Peterson didn't do was child abuse either, but that was child abuse. That's a deadly weapon. And this is no lie. You're listening to The Doug Stewart Show. Millionaires are being made all season long at DraftKings.com, America's favorite one-week fantasy football site. One-week fantasy means no season-long commitments. Play whenever you want. Got a player who's hurt? No problem. Injuries won't derail your shot at victory because it's like a new season every week, so you're never stuck with the same players. Pick your team in minutes, and you can be on the way to winning huge cash. This season, one listener turned 10 bucks into 5000 Another turn $2 into ten grand, And a new millionaire has been crowned nearly every week this season at DraftKings.com. You could be next. Imagine winning a million dollars in one day just playing fantasy football at DraftKings. Head to DraftKings.com now and use promo code SPREAKER to play free in the $10 million fantasy football world championships. DraftKings.com. Bigger events, bigger winnings, bigger millionaires. Enter Spreaker now at DraftKings.com. DraftKings.com. That's DraftKings.com. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. This is a football Friday. As well as a free fall Friday. And every time I hear this, <laughs> every time I hear this, I'm just like imagining somebody pulling some cardboard out and battling. Battle cry. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for joining the Doug Stewart Show. This is a football Friday as well as a free fall Friday. You can email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. You can also give me a call at 404-382-0338. Uh, and uh, and uh, also jump on the chat on Spreaker.com. That's the, the cool way to go and be totally interactive. This uh, segment is brought to you by System 5 Electronics. They're proud to offer my listeners in the Atlanta area the most affordable home security monitoring systems featuring smart solutions for your busy lifestyle for as little as $16.50 per month. That's right. Um, check them out online 
at System5ElectronicsInc.com. Once again, that's System5ElectronicsInc.com. They've been in business for over 25 years. If you've ever got an issue with uh, your security alarm system, ask to speak to the owner, Mr. Macy O'Brown. Yes, sir. (laughs) So that's System5ElectronicsInc.com. All right, so talking a little bit of NBA. Oh, yeah, also, man, make sure, before I forget, make sure that uh, you get down with this DraftKings, man. If you like fantasy sports, play for real money. Uh, real cool setup on DraftKings.com. When you create your account, if you use the promo code STU, I and DraftKings will match your deposit up to $600. You can't beat that with a stick. So DraftKings.com and use the promo code STU. Yeah. So Steve Kerr, the head coach of the Golden State Warriors, has come out and said that he is not, and the organization is not going to campaign for an MVP award for Steph Curry. And uh, what are your thoughts on that, man? Because you kind of see a little bit of campaigning um, for James Harden in Houston uh, by their organization. And not that none of these guys or any of these guys don't deserve it, but... um, I'm, I'm, I've always been a guy in these type of situations. It's crazy because I kind of, and I mentioned it a couple of days ago, how I kind of side more with Monique on her whole explanation of all of this controversy between her and the director, Lee Daniels. And Monique said something uh, that kind of ties into this in talking about, you know, uh, kissing butt and doing these promotional tours and the fact that she won this Oscar. Her, her statement basically was, was the work should speak for itself. And I've always been a guy like that, even in what we've done on radio. Uh, I've never campaigned for anything or asked for uh, compliments or anything like that. So I kind of get where Steve Kerr is going for this. The work should speak for itself. There shouldn't be really any campaigning or I don't agree that there should be campaigning. I guess you could do it, but it shouldn't matter, I guess, at the end of the day on who wins the MVP, or who gets accolades. The work should speak for itself. And I didn't see the movie Precious, tying that back in. I didn't see the movie Precious. But based on what she did in that movie, she won the Academy Award and talking about Monique. Based on what you do on the court, it really is all that should matter. And uh, I said it a couple of days ago, I like James Harden to win this thing because you're talking about a guy who's been giving the mantle of uh, the guy on the Houston Rockets, even when they brought in Dwight Howard, it was still already, you know, I would say James Harden's team. And James Harden has taken the bull by the horns, man, and has just really, really just gone above and beyond. I think even Oklahoma City or basketball fans in general would have thought. And uh, But as far as Steve Curry... Uh, uh, Steph Curry and uh, and Steve Kerr in the conversation for the Golden State Warriors and promoting and campaigning for the MVP award. I respect that, man. I mean, if the guy is the best player in the game and he's the guy that the Golden State Warriors couldn't live without, if you take this guy away, then they are just a totally different team. They don't have as many wins. They aren't as good. If, if, if Steve Kerr is that guy, then I think it should be awarded. I, I really do think it should be awarded. 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. Let me read some of this chat. Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Breaking news. That's right. Yeah, I love my little breaking news sound. <laughs> and I guess I need to go ahead and give you the breaking news. But breaking news coming out right now. Um, the Chicago Bears have made a deal to trade Brandon Marshall to the New York Jets. Yes. Yes. And I don't know why y'all booing, studio audience. Y'all don't care about Brandon Marshall or the New York Jets. But, yeah, so Brandon Marshall, um, it came out a couple of days ago um, that he was going to be released maybe, and so it looks like they've made a deal for him to be traded to the New York Jets. I guess trying to get Geno... Um, some weapons uh, there in New York because they just don't have any uh, weapons uh, in particular to get the ball to down the field. And so, yeah, 
it looks like Brandon Marshall, um, based on a physical, we still he's still got to take the physical, but Brandon Marshall is headed to the New York Jets. 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show. Dot com. Curry is deserving too, and Lakers need to get Jim Buss to resign and let his sister run the team. Um, that's from Vince Wright. From Ronald Cameron, Westbrook is the most athletic point guard I've ever seen. He's playing out of his mind right now. Yeah, I'm a guy that's been saying that for a long, long time. For many, many years when all the critics have been bashing West- Russell Westbrook, that this guy's a phenomenal talent. I mean, it's kind of like... Uh, you know, a bad break, I guess you could call it. A bad beat, they were saying poker. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. A bad beat that he's on a team with another phenomenal player and Kevin Durant. But once again, now he's getting that opportunity to show what he can do. And that really, you know, when you talk about the best players in the game, you got to start to put him in that conversation. And it's going to be very interesting to see what happens going forward when Durant comes back. And I mentioned it earlier how, there's this conversation now I've heard some, from some analysts uh, out there saying that when Durant comes back, that Russell Westbrook need to, needs to continue um, as he's been, as the player he's been thus far this year uh, for the Oklahoma City Thunder. So we're going to see what happens with that. That's going to be very interesting. From Harvey Scott, LeBron is MVP using what you said, Stu. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, LeBron is the best player in basketball. There's, there's no denying that. I mean, would anybody argue that LeBron James is the best player in basketball? I mean, you know, I mean, because you know why? LeBron James is going to be a player that's going to go down in NBA history as probably one of the top four or five players in the game. Now, I don't know uh, if he's going to have the hardware like Kobe and Michael Jordan at the end of the day, uh, but the skill set is just unbelievable. Uh, his resume, once again, is unbelievable, even though he doesn't have – four or five rings now, which a lot of people thought that he would. But LeBron James is the best player, all right? And I'm a guy that didn't like LeBron James, hated on LeBron James for all the reasons that you know for many, many years. But, I've, you know, I'm keeping it real now. And I've come full circle on the guy. I'm more of a fan now. I am a fan now. And the guy is just phenomenal with his body, uh, his size, strength, speed, skill set. It's just unbelievable. I mean, it's just unbelievable. In the NBA, and I've heard some of the experts and some NBA lifers say it, that LeBron James is a once-in-a-lifetime player. We've never seen a player, a guy, with that size, speed, strength, and skill. Never. Ever, ever, ever. So, yeah, uh, it's all about what floats your boat as far as talking about this MVP. What are your thoughts? 404-382-0338. You can also email me. At Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. Ooh, 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 I forgot. I forgot. Today, also, man, we are rolling out our second BPA winner. Yes! That's boiled peanuts for new listeners. It's a long story, but what we do every single Friday <laughs> is we rolled out a BPA winner, and that BPA is an acronym for Boiled Peanuts Award. It's a long story, but that goes to a buster. Somebody that did something stupid in the world of sports, and we give them a, a, an award. The BPA, Boiled Peanuts, and it's coming up later in today's show. So uh, I'll start rolling out the nominees here in a little while, and we'll also uh, we'll give that award later in today's show. All right, once again, the number is 404 you can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. Don't go away. This is the Doug Stewart Show. This is your boy Doug Stewart for my folks at System 5 Electronics. They're proud to offer my listeners here in the Metro Atlanta area, all the way down to Macon, Georgia, the most affordable home security monitoring systems, featuring smart solutions for that busy lifestyle you lead for as low as $16.50 per month. Here's some of the reasons why you should choose System 5. Hi, I'm Macy O'Brien, President and CEO of System 5 Electronics. We take pride in making sure that security is the number one thing that we do. And thanks to you, the customer that has supported us, we have grown this company in Southwest Atlanta where we're creating jobs and opportunities. Not only is their monitoring station here in Atlanta, but they also install the most advanced, up-to-date alarm systems where you can access cameras, lights, door locks, 
thermostats, and other devices remotely with your smartphone. 24-7 technical support, plus the lowest service call fees in the business. And check this, you own the security alarm system once it's installed. And you get direct access to the owner if you ever got a problem, Mr. Macy O'Brown. Click on the banner on the Doug Stewart Show website or app for more details or give them a call at 404-756-0736. Again, that's 404-756-0736 or online at System5ElectronicsInc.com. That's System5ElectronicsInc.com. The best of the Doug Stewart Show. I had been talking about red rice, frog more stew. Another one on the list, or number 13 on this list, is peanuts taste better boiled. <laughs> yes, yes. And as God is my witness, as God is my witness, my wife did not know people boiled peanuts and ate them. She did not. My wife's from Ohio. And yes, boiled peanuts, if cooked right, are the bomb. <laughs> Sports Talk. Straight, no chaser. All right, so I got to clear something up. (laughs) And and I don't even know why anybody's mind would even work like this, but uh, evidently it's becoming a topic of conversation. In the last segment, I was talking about boiled pea nuts, okay, that come from out of the ground, not boiled pea nuts. (laughs) And so, evidently, there's some talk in the chat room about Doug talking about boiled uh, man parts. No. Pea nuts. I'm trying to say it as slow as I can. Pea nuts. Okay. Uh, What is it? P-E-A-N-U-T-S? Pea nuts. (laughs) No, man. Not boiled penis. Come on, man. And I see Vernon here. Damn you, Vern! Ugh. Y'all know what the hell I was saying. This is the Ducks to a show. This is your folk, Doug Stewart. Want to protect you and your family from life's unexpected mishaps? Then join Seven. Join Seven is a prepaid legal company under the umbrella of the Protection Group. Join 7 is the only group benefit or motor club in the U.S. that offers auto reimbursement coverage, key replacement coverage, roadside assistance, gives you a current metafile, prescription savings, and fully encompassed prepaid legal benefits that include identity theft. They got your back. The average combined cost to purchase these benefits individually is over $850 a year. Join today and take advantage of all 7 for $17 a month. They've been around for over 20 years, so check them out by clicking on the banner link on my page, thedougstewartshow.com, or the app. Just go ahead and join 7. Y'all got a little preview during the break, but it's all good. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. Thank you so much for joining your boy. I really Really do appreciate it. And uh, it's a uh, free fall Friday as well as a uh, football Friday, which a football Friday pretty much goes on every single day on the Doug Stewart Show. So you can email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show dot com. You can also give me a call at four zero four three eight two zero three three eight. And uh, we're talking about football. I'm going to talk a little bit in a, in, in a little bit in a second about a guy that just retired from the NFL who I don't think uh, has gotten enough coverage of uh, the fact that he's calling it a career. Fantastic player. We're talking some NBA as well. Listen, man, are you on Facebook? If you're on Facebook, here's what you need to do. You need to follow the Doug Stewart Show Facebook group. That's right. It's the party after the party. (laughs) It truly is. So when the show is done at 1 p.m., then uh, you can take the party into the Doug Stewart Facebook group on Facebook, all right? So that's the Doug Stewart Show Facebook group. Um, what else? Oh, Twitter. Let me make sure. I'll, I'll tell you about Twitter right now, too, man. Make sure you retweet today's Lucky Fortune. 
and lucky numbers on Twitter. Okay, retweet that. Get you some of that stew magic. Okay, get you some of that stew magic. Then, then also make sure you follow your boy. My Twitter handle is at the Doug Stewart Show, and I think you can also find it at Doug Two, the number two live stews. Okay, so it's at the Doug Stewart Show, and at Doug, the number two live stews. Uh, Maurice Jones Drew, man, is calling it a career. Wow. Nine-year career. Um, He turns 30 years old this month, and he announced his retirement Thursday on Twitter. And here's what he had to say. After much discussion with my family and business team during the offseason, I've decided to retire from the National Football League. The past nine years were absolutely amazing. I'll be forever grateful to the to the countless people who have assisted me throughout my NFL journey, to my fans and NFL fans worldwide. You are the absolute greatest, but for you, our league would not exist. Football has been a central part of my life for the past 24 years, but now I'm excited about the looking about looking forward to the next chapter of my life. And we interviewed Maurice Jones Drew, MJD. Uh, before he got drafted into the NFL, uh, coming out of college, uh, UCLA, and he was at the Super Bowl. We were at the Super Bowl and, you know, doing Radio Row, and he came through, man. He was by himself. Something I remember that was very strange is I knew this guy was getting ready to go into the NFL, and, you know, a lot of times those dudes in that position, they have a couple of people that they hang with, their boys or whatever. Uh, They might have their agent, their publicist with them. Maurice Jones-Drew, and I, it was crazy. I remember like it was yesterday. He was walking around this place like a fan by himself. Like he didn't even have uh, a notebook with him or anything like that. He wasn't dressed. He didn't have a suit on. He was just walking around. And I knew who he was, and, and most football fans knew he was, but nobody was flocking around him. And I don't think that he was a guy that was coming out of college that was going to be picked you know, the top ten, and I don't exactly remember where he was picked. That I should have pulled that up for you. I apologize. But he was just walking around by himself, had on a pair of jeans, and he was stocky as hell. That's another thing I remember. This little dude is like a little a little bowling ball, all right? You know, at 5'7", 220 pounds or whatever. And he's just real stocky and short. But he was walking around by himself. And I guess Shaggy had set up an interview with him. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. And so he had walked by a couple of times, and I knew that he was coming on later that day, but he had walked in front of us a couple of times, came back, and like 10 minutes before he was supposed to come on, he just stood there. And I don't think 90% of the people or the fans, I knew football people and sports people knew who he was, but and when I say that I'm talking about other radio guys and guys in the business, but he had stood there and just like said nothing and was waiting to come on and nobody talked to him. But just, uh, I guess to tell you that story, the point is, real humble guy, real down-to-earth guy, and a solid, fantastic football player, and really held the banner, and I'm pointing my finger to the sky, (laughs) really held the banner of the little guy up high, because I always root for the little guy, man. And Maurice Jones-Drew, Maurice Jones-Drew, Had a phenomenal career, especially at his size. And maybe one day we could do a top five little guys in the NFL (laughs) of all times. Uh, Maurice Jones Drew would be on it. Um, Who else? Uh, Darren Sproles would probably be on it. I don't know. There's a lot of guys that are very small in stature that had big careers in the NFL. But Maurice Jones Drew is one of those guys, clearly, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, clearly one of the top, I don't know, Four or five guys that played for the Jacksonville Jaguars of all time. Let me let me let me guess off the top of my head right now. So you got Mark Brunel, obviously, uh, the, the the quarterback for Jacksonville, and I believe he was their first quarterback in the franchise history. So you got Mark Brunel, yes, definitely. You got Keenan McCardle, wide receiver. Um, you got Jimmy Smith, who actually I saw that that. What was that? That NFL life on the NFL Network with Jimmy Smith and uh, Keenan McCardle. Um, and then you've got uh, Fred Taylor. You've got Fred Taylor at running back. And who else? Maybe Tony Baselli, the offensive tackle. 
I don't know. Um, and then and then I think you got Morris Jones Drew. And then I think you got Morris Jones Drew. He's somewhere in that mix. Am I wrong about that? Am I missing somebody? Who am I missing from the Jacksonville Jaguars? And I mean the Jaguars, when they first got into the league, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart show, they made some noise. Like they made it to the playoffs a couple of years. I don't think they made it to an AFC championship. Or maybe they did make it to an AFC championship. I remember them talking about that on that special, uh, talking about Jimmy Smith and Keenan McCardle. But the Jacksonville Jaguars, they haven't had a ton of success, especially in the last couple of years. They pretty much sucked. Um, but I think Maurice Jones Drew is is a fan favorite definitely because he's the little guy. Once again, he's almost like the spud web of of of, uh, of, of the NFL. You know, a guy with great talent. And I'm sure a lot of people looked at him all throughout his life <laughs> like little guys are looked upon and basically just, you know, uh, toss the notion of Maurice Jones Drew being a fantastic player in the NFL off to the side. I'm sure that's happened all throughout his life. And uh, so just been a fantastic player, man. Great guy. Uh, very uh, great personality. You know, I'm not going to say outspoken. I was about to say outspoken. But a guy that is that's solid, seems like a very intelligent dude, um, speaks very well. Great guy. Great guy. And I'm looking for him to do something in media probably when he's done or now that he is done in the NFL. I'm looking for him to be in media. I'm looking for him to be like a sideline reporter or something like that. I don't know. A guy that has his own uh, sports show. I don't know. I, I think he's somebody that could definitely, you know, uh, translate into good entertainment. And so, uh, shouts out to Maurice Jones Drew, man. I always root for the little guys. <laughs> I always do, man. I always do, man, because I know it's tough being the little guy. It is absolutely tough being the little guy, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, who are your, uh, if you're a Jacksonville Jaguar fan, and we got people on the, that listen to the show from Florida, and you know maybe a Jacksonville Jaguar fan, uh, give me your top five. And I'm not going to do this. I guess I kind of did already. Uh, is Maurice Jones Drew one of the top five most beloved Jacksonville Jaguar <laughs> players of all times? I'm trying to think defensively. Who have they had that a lot of people will reference as being one of their best players? Uh, nah, all of their guys that I can think of off the top of my head are on the offensive side. Uh, and Maurice Jones-Drew definitely is one of those guys. 404-382-0338. You can also email your boy at Doug at the DougStewartShow.com. The BPA <laughs> Awards Show. And I guess it's the BP Awards. Yeah, the BP Awards. The Boyle Peanuts Awards are coming up a little bit later. Stay tuned for that. A couple of your nominees are, all right, a couple of your nominees are uh, Ron Jaworski. Ron Jaworski's out there for saying that he would not draft Jameis Winston um, at number one as far as the quarterbacks in the NFL. Then you also have uh, Chip Kelly for pulling this mess that he did a couple of days ago by trading LaShawn McCoy. Uh, to the Buffalo Bills. And uh, who else do we have? Oh, oh, yeah. This is this is a sad day in the show's history, but the Tree of Life is nominated for a BP Award. I'm not saying she's going to win. And Tree's not here today. <laughs> she's got some business to take care of. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. So she has some business to take care of, and she's not here today. So, I mean, the people have spoken. Tree uh, was nominated for BPA, and I can't even remember exactly what it was for. Maybe some comments about something we were talking about off the, the sports radar. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what it is. We'll figure it out here in a second. Me and Waterhead working here today, Waterhead Walter. But, yeah, Tree's nominated. I, I don't know if she's going to win. Once again, I don't know if she's going to win, but she is nominated. And, I mean, this is a show for the people, and the people nominated her, so she is nominated. Yeah. <laughs> All right, don't go back. We uh, don't go away. When we get back, we're going to talk about a, a notable NFL signing. All right, and it is a Football Friday sports talk for the people. The Doug Stewart Show. Don't go away. System Five Electronics is proud to offer my listeners in the Atlanta area. 
the most affordable home security monitoring systems, featuring smart solutions for your busy lifestyle for as low as $16.50 per month. Here's just a few reasons to choose System 5. Not only is their monitoring station located here in Atlanta, but they also install the most advanced, up-to-date alarm systems where you can access cameras, lights, door locks, thermostats, and other devices remotely with your smartphone. 24-7 technical support plus the lowest service call fees in the business. And check this. You own your security alarm system once it's installed. Not only have they been around for almost 25 years, but their customer service is excellent. And you get direct access to the owner, Mr. Macy O'Brown, to resolve any issues with your alarm system. Click on the banner on the Doug Stewart Show website or app for more details or give them a call at 404-756-0736. Again, that's 404-756-0736. And make sure and tell them the Doug Stewart Show sent you. Yes! Fantasy sports fans are winning huge cash prizes every day at DraftKings.com, America's favorite place to play daily fantasy sports. Daily fantasy means no season-long commitments. Play whenever you want. Just pick your sport and draft your team. It's like a new season every time you play, so you're never stuck with the same players. Last year, $300 million were won at DraftKings.com, and you could be next to win big. Go to DraftKings.com now and enter promo code STU to play for free. That's Stu for free entry now at DraftKings.com. Also, if you use promo code Stu, DraftKings will match your initial deposit up to $600. Deposit $600, play with $1,200. DraftKings.com, promo code Stu. This is your folk, Doug Stewart. Want to protect you and your family from life's unexpected mishaps? Then join 7. Join 7 is a prepaid legal company under the umbrella of the Protection Group. Join 7 is the only group benefit or motor club in the U.S. that offers auto reimbursement coverage, key replacement coverage, roadside assistance, gives you a current metafile, prescription savings, and fully encompassed prepaid legal benefits that include identity theft. They got you back. The average combined cost to purchase these benefits individually is over $850 a year. Join today and take advantage of all seven for $17 a month. They've been around for over 20 years, so check them out by clicking on the banner link on my page, thedougstewartshow.com, or the app. Just go ahead and join seven. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. This is a free fall Friday. Shouts out to all of my Stewies and all of the dogs and the poodles in the chat room. Really, really appreciate it. I'm going to read some of your chat here in a second on this uh, Football Friday. Um, Tree was nominated for BPA because of her controversial opinions about alimony and child support. (laughs) Let's just put it like that. For her controversial opinions <laughs> on child support and alimony. And if you're new to the Doug Stewart Show a couple of days ago, man, we got into a deep conversation about child support. Uh, and I don't even know how it started up, but we got into this deep conversation about child support. And my whole theory was, is man, you know, athletes paying, you know, Michael Jordan had to pay Juanita Jordan $168 million. And Tree agreed with her. I uh, agree with that whole system. And my thing is, why don't you just get the ex-wife to show some receipts? <laughs> it's really simple, you know. Uh, you know the kids don't need about two or three grand a month to survive. Uh, so why am I paying you 150 grand, you know? What, what happens to the excess money I'm sending you? Where's the difference go? And you know where it goes. It goes for you to take trips all over America and not get a nine to five. We know that. And so Tree got nominated for a BP award. For that, all right? That's why she got nominated. And so we'll give you your BP uh, award winner a little bit later in today's show, and that's the Boyle Penis Award. 404-382-0338 is the number to the show. Make sure. I'm, I'm giving you all these little updates, man. Make sure when you get a second, do your boy a solid, all right? Just do me a solid. Help me get my weight up on iTunes. Yes, Lord. If you're listening to the show on iTunes, or even if you're not, 
You know, even if you're not, you have iTunes on your phone if you got an Apple product. So go to iTunes and search the Doug Stewart Show. Find it, pull it up, and then give me a five-star rating. I really would appreciate that. As well as a quick one, two, three-word review on iTunes. It will go a long way. Trust me on that. If you like, you know, real talk, real sports talk, free speech sports talk, you found it on the Doug Stewart Show. All right? You have found it right here. So help independent radio. Help my kids eat. Help us keep the lights on in my house. Yes! On the Doug Stewart Show. All right? So, yeah, yeah. So definitely do that. Uh, and we were talking about Maurice Jones, uh, Drew, in the last segment. Let me throw this out there to you as well to talk about how how effective this guy was as a running back in the NFL in his nine years. All right, check this out. From his rookie season in 2006 to 2011, Maurice Jones Drew scored at least 10 rushing touchdowns, rushed for 1,000 yards, or did both in five of those six seasons. Are you hearing what I'm saying? All right, okay. Once again, most fantasy points, and I know what you're saying right now for you, you know, you prudes, uh, fantasy points. Well, fantasy points are a good indicator of how effective you were at your position, all right? The most fantasy points among running backs from 2006 to 2011. LaDainian Thompson with 1,288 points, and you know who came in right behind him? You guessed it. (laughs) Maurice Jones Drew with 1,271. The guy was a fantastic player, man. The guy was a fantastic player, man. The little guy. And once again, I always root for the little guy. So he had a great career, and he's shutting it down, man, while he still got all his faculties about him, I guess. So congratulations to Maurice Jones Drew once again. The Doug Stewart Show, TDSS, is a fan of the little guy, and in particular now and today of Maurice Jones Drew. 404-382-0338 is the number to the show. Let me read some of this chat here from Vince Wright. The Jets need Marshall. The Jets need a lot of things, <laughs> but they definitely need a wide receiver, so that's a good pickup for them. Uh, OG Dion, Jets finally got a receiver. Matt, career suicide for Brandon Marshall. Look at this guy looking at the total opposite from Kiss My Go to Hell. Hasselbeck made Cowherd look like a blank head the other day for talking about Winston. Um, oh, I didn't see that. I don't know what happened between, uh, I guess he's talking about Colin Cowherd and uh, – Tim Hasselback from J.B. Jennings. Uh, Cowherd, don't think before you speak. He's just a blank rider. But Hasselback humiliated him on his own show. I did not hear this. I did not hear this. Now, I've said it before. I do, you know, I flip around sometimes on radio just to see what other people are saying, just to kind of gauge how wrong other sports talk hosts are. <laughs> so I do do that. But I did not hear this conversation between those two guys. From Jungle Brother, MJD looked like a mini Herschel Walker. And that's a great, great analogy. I like that. And his listed weight was 5'7". <laughs> and I think, I swear to God, he's shorter than 5'7". 5'7", 210 pounds. Um, you know, 210 pounds isn't relatively that big for a football player, but it is when it's on a 5'10 frame. And that's exactly what Maurice Jones drew was. He was, yeah, yeah, that's a good... That's a good description, man. A mini Herschel Walker. And this dude was a little dump truck, man. A little fire hydrant. A fly plug like they used to call him back in the day. Fantastic player. Let me go ahead and grab a call. Caller, thanks for calling the Doug Stewart Show. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what you want to talk about? Doug Stewart, what it do? John Fisher in the building. John Fisher, what up, baby? How you doing today, man, on this football Friday? Man, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. First of all, uh, your boy Raj told me to tell you what's up, man. Uh, he said he used to produce y'all show. Yeah, Raj uh, living out there in L.A. I spoke, L.A. Yeah, I spoke to him a uh, uh, when I was out there a couple of weeks ago, man. Real good dude. I think he's working right now for uh, Max and Marcellus. Yeah, exactly, the Max and Marcellus show, man. What's yeah, up? Yeah, I called him there yesterday. He was like, hey, man, tell your boy Doug. I was like, I just spoke to Doug early. He said, tell him I said what's up, man. I was like, all right, cool. That's our folk. That's our folk. What you got for me, man? Man, I feel bad for Maurice Jones-Drew, man. He was like a good player, just stuck on a bad team all the time. I don't know what, for the life of me, made him go to the Raiders. It almost seems like now the Raiders is like the last stop before you 
before you retire or whatever, man. But I just want to uh, give shout out to MJD, uh, Brandon Marshall. I don't know what's wrong with that boy going to the Jets, but uh, I just really wanted to call you to tell you that Rod said what up, man. But shout out to MJD. I wish him all the best. And I'm gone. I appreciate the call, man. He called 404-382-0338. That is the number to the Doug Stewart Show. And, yeah, Maurice Jones-Drew, man, uh, great player. Uh, Great player, man. Real professional. And I talked about that a little bit in the last segment. Just a solid, solid player. BP BP Awards coming up a little bit later on the Doug Stewart Show from Lamont Hart. Terry uh, said MJ's wife didn't get enough money or tree. Uh, Eugene Jackson, Tree was nominated for defending Juanita Jordan, getting $168 million for having two children with Michael Jordan. Eugene Jackson, Tree was nominated for defending Juanita Jordan from James Cooper. Tree should have got half of BPA. <laughs> and Tanya and Decatur, y'all going to have or y'all going to leave Tree alone, Mickey Fickies. Yeah, well, I mean, we love Tree, but let's be honest, all right? This is a guy talk show there's a lot of testosterone that flow through the airwaves when you listen to the Doug Stewart show and so her very biased (laughs) her very biased um, opinion about divorce and alimony and child support is not going to be received well by the listenership of this show I mean it's just not not saying she's going to win the BPA award I'm just saying she's nominated for the BPA award. Yeah, yeah. Also in the NFL, man, speaking of uh, the NFL, which we do every single day, but especially on Fridays, defensive end Darnell Dockett is now a member of the San Francisco 49ers. Dude didn't play last year. Dude didn't play last year because of a torn ACL. But the 49ers, man, they need a lot of help. They are uh, Their defense is kind of... It's kind of subsided as far as uh, the dominant defense that, that they had for many years uh, under Jim Harbaugh. So they signed Darnell Dockett. I guess they're rolling the dice on him that he's going to come back healthy. And he's been a solid player for a long time in the NFL. Solid pro. A pro's pro. So I don't expect him not to be, you know, uh, pretty much the same guy that he has been for his entire career in Arizona. So the 49ers make a, an, an interesting move in bringing in Darnell Dockett. Do you follow Darnell Dockett on Twitter? Well, first of all, you need to follow Doug Stewart on Twitter. That's at the Doug Stewart Show. But Darnell Dockett is one of those guys, like, I pay attention to his tweets. And, you know, I follow a couple of thousand people, but most of them I don't even pay attention to. And I've set up, like, a little subgroup where, uh, where guys that I really want to pay attention to what they're saying on Twitter, I'll follow and Donette Dockett is, like, off the chain. Like, you talk about a guy with no filter, it's him. It is. And he likes taking selfies, and he likes, you know, uh, sometimes he crosses the line. He is a little habitual line stepper as far as what he says about women and posting pictures. And uh, he just says a lot of off-the-wall stuff. He's, a, he's one of those carefree guys, you know. And I'm going to guess he's from California. Because he's very carefree in what he says and what he does. And he doesn't have a filter. A lot of times he just doesn't have a filter. A lot of things he says, uh, once again, are across the line. You know, he's a line stepper. uh, But not to the degree where, you know, he's going to have to pay a fine or something to the team or by the league. So he kind of straddles the line. But he's a real interesting guy to follow on Twitter. All right. When we get back, hour number two of the show, BP Awards coming up a little bit later. So stay tuned for that. And uh, when we get back, we'll read more of your chat and talk about what's going on in these streets as far as the world of sports. Don't go away. The Doug Stewart Show. You've been thinking about starting that online store, right? And you do know e-commerce makes billions a year. That's right. I said billions with a B. Okay, a B. Well, just do it and do it right with my friends at AmeriCommerce. AmeriCommerce is an easy-to-use tool to sell anything online on Facebook and through mobile phones. 
Over 100,000 merchants and website owners have chosen AmeriCommerce to handle their stores and customers. They have the most in-depth features in the industry, which include multiple storefronts, website management for one console, a Facebook shopping application, a mobilized, optimized website, and much more. Don't let eBay, Amazon, and Zappos get all the money. Get your piece of the pie, too. Click on their banner link on the DougStewartShow.com or the app link for more details. First of all, thank you for listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Now, if you've been listening for a while, you know that we've grown exponentially over the first couple of months. Whether that's listens, whether that's followers, we're blowing up and you can be a part of it. If you have a company out there and you like to promote on the Doug Stewart Show, we'd love to partner with you. Here's what you do. Email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. Once again, that's Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. Whether that's locally, regionally, or nationally, we can get the word out. What you're talking about is middle-aged dudes that love sports and love exciting sports talk. Once again, email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. That's Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com, and we will put you out there. All right? That's Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. Let's do some business. Yes! Fantasy sports fans are winning huge cash prizes every day at DraftKings.com, America's favorite place to play daily fantasy sports. Daily fantasy means no season long commitments, play whenever you want. Just pick your sport and draft your team. It's like a new season every time you play, so you're never stuck with the same players. Last year, $300 million were won at DraftKings.com, and you could be next to win big. Go to DraftKings.com now and enter promo code STU to play for free. That's STU for free entry now at DraftKings.com. Also, if you use promo code STU, DraftKings will match your initial deposit up to $600. Deposit $600, play with $1,200. DraftKings.com, promo code STU. Doug Stewart Show, Free Fall Friday. Thank you for joining your boy, March 6, 2015. And uh, talking about these sports, reading a lot of chat, doing what we do. What y'all got going on this weekend, man? What's going on in your town? Um, I'm going to lay low. I got to go out of town next weekend. Uh, so, by the way, I won't be doing the show next Friday. But uh, this weekend, man, I'm going to hang low. No track meet. Uh, too cold to go out and try to play golf or anything like that. Which this, this, this weather we're having in the ATL, man, is really kind of scary. Because two days ago, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, two days ago it was like 75 degrees. And, I mean, this happens. I mean, I'm not going to make too much of it because – this is what happens when the season's starting to change. You know, we're getting to daylight uh, savings time uh, this weekend. Or, no, not daylight savings time. I don't know what you call it when you spring forward. But we're springing forward this weekend. And a couple of days ago, it was 75 degrees. So we're going in and out. And today, it's like freaking 10 degrees outside. I mean, it's freezing outside. And uh, it was snow on the ground when I woke up this morning. And snow was coming down pretty pretty heavy and it was actually sticking and then it stopped and I don't know man uh, it's just it's real crazy crazy stuff so I'm a chill this weekend really uh try to uh try to uh get in depth into some uh, college basketball that's right around the corner the tournament uh conference tournaments are already starting off right now so that's pretty much what I'm gonna do this weekend man is I'm gonna chill I'm not gonna do anything I'm gonna probably another thing I'm probably gonna do this weekend is I'm going to finish season three of Breaking Bad, um, which right now I'm on episode or season three, episode like eight or nine. 
It was real good stuff. I got to give it to him, man. I mean, I talked about it uh, when I first started watching the show that, uh, you know, it's not the wire, but it's a damn good show. I get it. I get all of the hoopla. I get it. Very good dialogue on Breaking Bad. Uh, very good dialogue and uh, well written, well acted. The kid that, uh, the, the drug addict partner of Waltz in Breaking Bad, man, I, I, I'm going to guess that he received some type of awards. I don't know, was it an Emmy for TV? Uh, he, he, he has to have gotten some Emmy awards or something, man. Walt, too. But that kid, man, that character is very, uh, is very believable. Uh, you know, Walt's partner, I think his name is Jesse in Breaking Bad, if you're a Breaking Bad fan. That kid, you know, is very believable as a heroin addict, <laughs> uh, a meth user, and uh, a wannabe tough guy, mm, hood dude, drug dealer. Yeah, he's, he's got all of that encompassed in that one character and very believable. Like, I hate him because he's stupid as hell. He does dumb things. And then at the same time, I'm like, this dude's playing a character. He's pretty damn good because he's very believable. You know, this urban kid, uh, he dresses like he's cool, like he's some type of – he wears all his urban uh, outfits and talk about, yo, man, this, that, and the other. You know good and well, you saw his family. He didn't grow up in no family like that. But, he, you know, he's this drug dealer now, and he's so cool. But then he uses the product which the great Biggie Smalls talks about, and you're, you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. The great Biggie Smalls talked about it in one of his songs, his rap songs. You can't get high on your own supply. So this kid's using meth. And then this kid also, at one point, starts using Heron, as the old players used to say back in the day. Heron, with his girlfriend, and his girlfriend dies. And I'm talking about all of this because uh, the show is, is many, many years over, or done. And, uh... So very interesting character, man. Very good show. So yeah, I give a I, I give a thumbs up to to Breaking Bad. And people have been telling me for many many years, you haven't seen Breaking Bad. You haven't. And the way I am, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. The way I am is uh, is kind of like the way I was with uh with The Walking Dead. If I'm too far past the beginning of it, like if they're in their second or third season. Uh, I'm not going to start watching it in the middle, you know. Uh, I'll go back and watch it from the very beginning. I don't like watching things in the middle. And so I got behind the eight ball on Breaking Bad. And before I knew it, it was three, four years down the road. And I was waiting for them to start putting uh, old episodes online or on, uh, on, on, on demand. And they never did. Uh, they'll put a couple on here and there. And so I never could get caught up like that. So. I found a way. Let me just put it like that. <laughs> I found a way to see all the previous episodes. And so I started back watching it from the very beginning. And it's a pretty damn good show. 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show dot com. Talking a little bit about the MVP. Who do you think is the best player in basketball right now? And really that's that's a different question. The question is who do you think is the MVP? Because the best player in the game and the MVP are totally different conversations. The best player in the league has been probably, mm, well, questionable the first half of his career because you could, I think, in my opinion, can make the argument that, that Kobe Bryant was the best player in the league. But the last half of his career, the best player in the league over the last four or five years has been LeBron James. That's not even a question. But the MVP, that's a different conversation. Is it James Harden? Is it Steph Curry? Is it LeBron James, uh, who's been playing fantastic the second half of the season? Uh, Russell Westbrook, who's just been dominant over the last week? Uh, I've even heard a little bit of conversation about uh, the Davis kid, Anthony Davis from New Orleans, who was a fantastic player as well. I don't know. If you ask the question, out of these five guys, which one of them would you pick to start your franchise? And so you would have to factor in their age, okay? You know, not talking about the height of their career. Talking about their game right now, factoring in their age. Uh, you put into that conversation as well, their upside. Which one of these guys would you rather have? Now, that's the question. <laughs> and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Maybe that's the question I should have thrown out earlier. I like the conversation we're having in the chat room 
uh, about who we think is the best MVP. But maybe the better question and an even more titillating question <laughs> would be, which one of these guys would you start your team with right now if you were a GM, if you were a new franchise coming into the NBA and they had like, I don't know, a veteran draft, and I think they did that, strangely enough. We were talking about Jacksonville earlier. I think that's what they did for Jacksonville in the NFL when they first came into the league, them and Carolina. They had like a veteran draft or a free agent draft where they got first dibs on veteran players. And I think that's where they got McCardle and Jimmy Smith and and I think Brunel as well. But if you could start your team, which one of these guys would it be with? And, I mean... I don't think you would be LeBron right now, or do you still think LeBron has enough in the tank to justify taking him over these other guys? Because once again, clearly LeBron's the best player, but he's been in the league, I'm going to guess, 10 years, <laughs> you know, straight out of high school. So I'm going to guess LeBron's, you know, you know, a little bit longer in the tooth than, I, than most of these other guys, all of these other guys, really. But Anthony Davis is the youngest out of them all. He's the, he's the youngest out of them all, man, and I mean, skill-wise, and what he does on the defensive end of the, the, the court, he had eight blocks the other night, and he's got a little jump shot. He's, he's always had a little jump shot, but I even think it's more pronounced now. Uh, you know about what he can do in the paint, and once again, defensively, he's just a beast. I think I might take Anthony Davis before anybody else in that list of five guys. I do. I do. Westbrook, the thing that scares me about Westbrook and why I might not take him over Davis is because Westbrook puts so much torque on his body, kind of in the same mode and puts you in the same mind frame of Derrick Rose. I could see Westbrook breaking down, and he plays too hard. Like, how many guys can you say, and you're talking about athletes, we always get on athletes about not you know, giving maximum effort how many guys can you say play too hard? There's not many. <laughs> you, you, you feel me? And Russell Westbrook's a guy that I almost feel like plays too hard. You know, he goes balls to the wall every single possession that the Oklahoma City Thunder has. And going to the basket and putting his body on the line. So at some point, I'm uh, knock on wood, I hope this doesn't happen. At some point, I kind of expect in the back of my mind for Russell Westbrook to break down. Kind of, i.e., like what's happened with Derrick Rose. I hope that's not the case, but that's kind of in my mind and in, in thinking about this question. Uh, Curry, Steph Curry is a fantastic player, great player, but he's already had issues with his ankles his first couple of years. He's a real slight guy. He's a jump shooter. I mean, hell, he takes jump shots from half court, and he's probably one of the best to ever do it. And I remember Mark Jackson said this a couple of years ago about him and. Uh, and his teammate, uh, can't, his name's not drawing, my, uh, Michael Thompson, uh, Michael Thompson's kid. But hey, would you rather have Curry or would you rather have Davis? And then James Harden, an all-around game as well. So James Harden's in the conversation as well. Can he get even better than he's been this year? I think so. So I don't know. That's a tough-ass question, man. Hey, man, I, I like that question. I'm patting myself on the back for that question. <laughs> Yes. Out of these five guys, which one would you rather have if you could start your franchise with one of these guys right now? Which one would you rather have? James Harden, Steph Curry, LeBron James, Russell Westbrook, or Anthony Davis? <laughs> Ooh, that's a good-ass question. Yeah. The question earlier was cool, too, but this is even a better one. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, let's answer that in the chat room. Have some fun with that. And also, we get back from the break. I talked a little bit earlier about the 49ers and them adding Darnell Dockett. They made another slight little move. I'll tell you about that as well. All right? Sports talk with hot sauce, man. I mean, that's what we do around here. Sports talk with hot sauce. Texas Pete hot sauce. Don't go away. This is the Doug Stewart Show. This your boy, Doug Stewart, for my folks at System 5 Electronics. They're proud to offer my listeners here in the metro Atlanta area 
all the way down to making Georgia the most affordable home security monitoring systems, featuring smart solutions for that busy lifestyle you lead for as low as $16.50 per month. Here's some of the reasons why you should choose System 5. Hi, I'm Maceo Brown, President and CEO of System 5 Electronics. We take pride in making sure that security is the number one thing that we do. And thanks to you, the customer that has supported us, we have grown this company in Southwest Atlanta where we're creating jobs and opportunities. Not only is their monitoring station here in Atlanta, but they also install the most advanced, up-to-date alarm systems where you can access cameras, lights, door locks, thermostats, and other devices remotely with your smartphone. 24-7 technical support, plus the lowest service call fees in the business. And check this. You own the security alarm system once it's installed. And you get direct access to the owner if you ever got a problem, Mr. Macy O'Brown. Click on the banner on the Doug Stewart Show website or app for more details or give them a call at 404-756-0736. Again, that's 404-756-0736 or online at System5ElectronicsInc.com. That's System5ElectronicsInc.com. The best of the Doug Stewart Show. I had been talking about red rice, frogmore stew. Another one on the list, or number 13 on this list, is peanuts taste better boiled. <laughs> yes, yes. And as God is my witness, as God is my witness, my wife did not know people boiled peanuts and ate them. She did not. My wife's from Ohio. And yes, boiled peanuts, if cooked right, are the bomb. <laughs> Sports Talk. Straight, no chaser. All right, so I got to clear something up. (laughs) And and I don't even know why anybody's mind would even work like this, but uh, evidently it's becoming a topic of conversation. In the last segment, I was talking about boiled pea nuts, okay, that come from out of the ground, not boiled pea (laughs) nuts. (laughs) <laughs> and so, evidently, there's some talk in the chat room about Doug talking about boiled uh, man parts. No, pea nuts. I'm trying to say it as slow as I can. Pea nuts, okay? Uh, what is it? P E A N U T S? Pea nuts. <laughs> no, man! Not boiled penis! Come on, man! And I see Vern in here. Damn you, Vern. Y'all know what the hell I was saying. (laughs) This is the Doug Stewart Show. This is your folk, Doug Stewart. Want to protect you and your family from life's unexpected mishaps? Then join Seven. Join Seven is a prepaid legal company under the umbrella of the Protection Group. Join 7 is the only group benefit or motor club in the U.S. that offers auto reimbursement coverage, key replacement coverage, roadside assistance, gives you a current metafil, prescription savings, and fully encompassed prepaid legal benefits that include identity theft. They got you back. The average combined cost to purchase these benefits individually is over $850 a year. Join today and take advantage of all 7 for $17 a month. They've been around for over 20 years, so check them out by clicking on the banner link on my page, thedougstewartshow.com, or the app. Just go ahead and join 7. If you're not stewing, what in the hell are you doing? This is the Doug Stewart Show. Thank you so much for joining your boy on this football Friday. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm going to chill out this weekend, man. I'm going to hit the couch. (laughs) And not going to do much at all, man. Uh, What you got going on this weekend, hit your boy up on the chat line on Spreaker.com. You can also give me a call at 404-382-0338. BP. Award coming up fairly soon. As a matter of fact, in about 15 minutes. Stay tuned for that. You don't want to miss that. And right now, um, 
Our contestants are Ron Jaworski, Chip Kelly, and the Tree of Life. Yeah, I know. I know, studio owners. You love Tree. I love Tree, too. But she's nominated. I mean, the people have spoken. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, we're doing that, reading all, the, all of your chat and talking about everything going on in the world of sports. Um, another little story in the NFL I'm going to talk to you about here in a second. But let me read some of this chat because I really do appreciate all of the, the chatters, all of the stewies, the dogs, and the poodles. It's big, man. Y'all kind of like my co-host. I mean, you try to talk to yourself for two damn hours and see how long it goes. I mean, go ahead. <laughs> it's not an easy thing, man. So y'all kind of, the way I look at it, I mean, I could do it. I could talk to myself for two hours because I've been doing it for a long time, so I'm pretty good at it. But I love the interaction, man, and the fact that, that you're kind of like my co-host, my wingman in this thing, and I really do appreciate that, man. I really do. Um... Let's see, J.B. Jennings, Anthony Davis, number one fantasy player. He does it all. Nine is for life. Anthony Davis to start a team. Max Jones the third. Factoring in age and development, Anthony Davis, hands down, bro, has developed a jump shot. It's a wrap. And, and, and really, I mean, you got to remember also now, Anthony Davis, what is he? Okay, so he's been, this is his third year? Is this his third year or second year? This is probably his third year in the NBA. OK, he left when he was 18. He left Kentucky when he was 18. So this guy's 21, 22 years old. He's going to get even better. <laughs> he's going to get even better, man. And I mean, he's seven foot tall. He runs the floor like a small forward, not like a center or a power forward. The guy runs the floor like a small forward, athletic as hell, long as hell, block shots like it's going out of style. Uh, I haven't definitively said I'd take Anthony Davis yet. And if you're just joining me, I threw out that question to the listeners in the last segment. You know, in all this conversation about MVP and they're kind of lightweight talking about Anthony Davis a little bit. He's not going to win it. But then that brought up the bigger question is if you had the opportunity to start your, your team with one of these players, one of these guys they're talking about for the MVP, uh, like Harden or Curry or LeBron, Westbrook or Davis, which one would you take? And I, I'm thinking that I would take Anthony Davis if you factor in everything. From uh, K-Mac, I'd pick Curry to start my team because he's going to be able to shoot for another 20 years. All the others are going to break down. That's an interesting way to look at it. That's an interesting way to look at it. And now, I think I kind of made it sound like Curry can't go to the basket or he's just, you know, just this jump shooter exclusively. No. The guy can go to the basket. Now, he takes punishment when he goes in there. And he's so light, I guess you really don't like to see a lot of that. But Curry can go to the basket. Great great uh, ball handling skills as well. I mean, he's supposed to be a point guard, but you know good and well he's not a damn point guard. He's a two guard in a point guard's body. But uh, I don't know about Curry. Like, I'll let all of these five guys, because I still think LeBron has another strong six, seven years in him. Out of all of these guys, I think I would probably take Curry last. Um, I think I would. I think I would. I'm going to go ahead and tell you who I would take in this order. Number one, or number five, I'm going to start from worst to first. Number five, I think I'd take Curry. <sighs> number four, I think I'd take Harden. Number three, I think I'd take Westbrook. Number two, I'd take LeBron. And number one, I would take Curry or uh, Anthony Davis. Yeah. Uh, man, what's going on today? We got more breaking news in the world of sports. And we got your BP award coming up a little bit later in today's show, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Breaking news. Credit the Puppet Factory, ESPN. The NCAA suspends Syracuse coach Jim Beheim nine games and strips the team of 12 scholarships for multiple infractions. Whoa. They've been cheating. <laughs> wow. And I'm saying that, but uh, I don't know the full details yet. I'll try to get more details for you before we get out of here today. But once again, breaking news, the NCAA suspends Syracuse coach Jim Beheim nine games and strips the team of 12 scholarships for multiple infractions. Yeah, so I'll get you more news on that. Coming down, breaking news in the world of college basketball. Let me go ahead and grab another call. I'm going to read more of your chat here in a second. But we're talking about who would you take uh, if you could start your 
NBA team right now in the uh, in the league? Uh, which one of the five guys that kind of talking about for MVP would you take? Harden, Curry, LeBron James, Westbrook, or Anthony Davis? Carlo, thanks for calling the Doug Stewart Show. What's your name, where you call it from, and what you want to talk about? Yeah, man, this is Jersey, man, sitting down here in Thompson, Georgia, man. What's going on? What up, Vern from Jersey? How you doing, brother? Oh, man, I'm just chilling, man, like those um, peanuts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> check this out, D. Uh, I used to always think that Russell Westbrook was killing the team, you know, whenever him and Durant was running together. Right. But now I look at it like this. If them two, have, if them two play together, they need a point guard like they just picked up now, Augustine, because he'll get either one of them the ball. Yeah. You know, because both of them need the ball in certain situations. You know what I'm saying? Right. They never had that point guard because Russell Westbrook was the point guard. They never had that point guard that was going to be able to get both of them the balls where they needed it. If they if get healthy, I think they're going to come out there eighth seed and they're going to uh, surprise a lot of people, man, out, you know, out here, man. Yeah. Hey, but before I, before I hang up, man, I want to make a touch of point on uh, our Hoyas, man. Our Hoyas is young, and they can go to the Final Four. But you know what's stopping them, man? What? JP3, man. What is up with this cat, man? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, your father ran a press, make your offense. You know what I'm saying? Press 90 feet, and make, it'll make your offense. This guy right here, man, he's killing the team. And he got some great young talent, D. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate the call, Vern. He called 404-382-0338, and he's talking about the Georgetown Hoyas. And to be quite honest with you, man, I really haven't paid a lot of attention. And he said, I'm a fan. Been a fan of Georgetown, man. It's hard to have been one for the last, I don't know, 10 years, ever since John Thompson III's been there. But uh, big-time fan, just like a lot of people in America were, of the Hoyer teams back in the day with John Thompson Sr. Uh, and all of the fantastic players with Ewing and Sleepy Floyd and Reggie Williams and Michael Jackson, <laughs> all of those players back in the day. But to be honest with you, I haven't really paid a lot of attention to them, especially this year, but really in the last couple of years. I still root for them. It's almost like, for me, to a detriment, <laughs> if I start rooting for you at one point, I'm going to root for you forever. And that's kind of where I've been with Georgetown. And he also, Vern also talked about, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, this situation with looking at Russell Westbrook differently now because of what we've seen out of him over the last uh, couple of months and uh, not having Kevin Durant there. And a lot of people's minds are really changing on this dude. And... Once again, and I mentioned this early with Steph Curry, the fact that really he's a two-guard in a point guard's body. Yeah, I mean, Russell Westbrook is a two-guard. He's a two-guard that can dribble very, very good. He can get to any spot that he wants to on the floor. That's all it is, but Russell Wilson is really a two-guard. I mean, when they had Tybo Cephalosha, who's now with the Atlanta Hawks, Tybo Cephalosha used to start at two-guard. You remember that? So it was Durant at the three, Russbrook at the point, and Tybo Cephalosha at the two, which was stupid. Why didn't he let James Harden play the two? And Harden did play the two, and he came off the bench, and they always talked about this. Uh, Brooks always talked about having this, this punch off the bench, and so that's why they brought in Harder, Harden. So now you see that thinking was pretty flawed. How, how much better could Oklahoma City have been if they had Harden, Westbrook, and Durant on the floor at the same time? So I don't know what you could do now. It'd be perfect, and I talked about it a while back how I thought there would have been a great trade to trade Westbrook to Boston for Rajon Rondo and let Rondo come and be the floor general and facilitate the basketball for Durant and OKC and let Westbrook be the star in Boston. So that's not going to happen. But, hey, maybe, and this is me just thinking outside of the box, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, Maybe OKC in a final push if they make the playoffs. Maybe they try to get Rondo, who's, uh, you know, not fitting in in Dallas. Let Rondo play the point. Move Westbrook to the two. And Durant healthy playing the three. I mean, they could beat anybody. I mean, that squad, matter of fact, the squad that they have right now with a healthy Durant could probably beat the number one seed in the West, talking about Golden State right now. They get a true point guard out there and let Russell Westbrook play his natural position, even though his body and his height doesn't say that. In the two guard, I mean, they cook it with Crisco. Yeah, the possibilities are endless. 
That's pie in the sky. I'm just thinking out loud. But very interesting, the fact that uh, this squad, they got no KC, man. If they get healthy and can get the right team on the floor, man, they can beat absolutely anybody. All right, when we get back from the break, BP Award coming up. The Doug Stewart Show. System 5 Electronics is proud to offer my listeners in the Atlanta area the most affordable home security monitoring systems, featuring smart solutions for your busy lifestyle for as low as $16.50 per month. Here's just a few reasons to choose System 5. Not only is their monitoring station located here in Atlanta, but they also install the most advanced, up-to-date alarm systems where you can access cameras, lights, door locks, thermostats, and other devices remotely with your smartphone. 24-7 24-7 technical support, plus the lowest service call fees in the business. And check this. You own your security alarm system once it's installed. Not only have they been around for almost 25 years, but their customer service is excellent. And you get direct access to the owner, Mr. Macy O'Brown, to resolve any issues with your alarm system. Click on the banner on the Doug Stewart Show website or app for more details, or give them a call at 404-756-0736. Again, that's 404-756-0736. And make sure and tell them the Doug Stewart Show sent you. Yes! Fantasy sports fans are winning huge cash prizes every day at DraftKings.com, America's favorite place to play daily fantasy sports. Daily fantasy means no season-long commitments. Play whenever you want. Just pick your sport and draft your team. It's like a new season every time you play. So you're never stuck with the same players. Last year... $300 $300 million were won at DraftKings.com, and you could be next to win big. Go to DraftKings.com now and enter promo code STU to play for free. That's STU for free entry now at DraftKings.com. Also, if you use promo code STU, DraftKings will match your initial deposit up to $600. Deposit $600, play with $1,200. DraftKings.com, promo code STU. This is your folk, Doug Stewart. Want to protect you and your family from life's unexpected mishaps? Then join Seven. Join Seven is a prepaid legal company under the umbrella of the Protection Group. Join Seven is the only group benefit or motor club in the U.S. that offers auto reimbursement coverage, key replacement coverage, roadside assistance, gives you a current metafile, prescription savings, and fully encompassed prepaid legal benefits that include identity theft. They got your back. The average combined cost to purchase these benefits individually is over $850 a year. Join today and take advantage of all seven for $17 a month. They've been around for over 20 years, so check them out by clicking on the banner link on my page, thedougstoreshow.com, or the app. Just go ahead and join seven. Penis tastes better boiled. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to begin our study of the male erection. We are adults. Now, I want everybody together to go ahead and say penis, penis, penis. Penis tastes better. Penis tastes better. Penis tastes better boiled. Come on, y'all, say it. No, man. Peanuts. I'm trying to say it as slow as I can. P nuts. P E A N U T S. P nuts. Y'all know what the hell I was saying. Come on, y'all, say it. And that time of the week has come. Friday, free for all Friday. And it's time for uh, this week's BP Award winner, Boiled Penis Award winner. And your, uh, your contestants are Ron Jaworski uh, for saying that he would not take Jameis Winston to something in his his uh, release that he sees that he doesn't like and he wouldn't take him number one as a, a quarterback in the NFL draft. Uh, Chip Kelly. Chip Kelly, man, uh, traded LaShawn McCoy, who had 1,300 yards last year and clearly one of the top four or five backs in football. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. And this is the second best player on the team that they've traded in the last two years. So Chip Kelly's a nominee as well. 
And then our very own, who we love to death. I mean, we love this young lady to death. But our own tree, she gets nominated for an award on her very controversial comments and opinions on child support. So she gets nominated as well. Um, and so, without further ado, this week's BP winner, award winner, is... Chip Kelly! Yes, Chip Kelly, you are the second annual BP Award winner on the Doug Stewart Show. Just looking back at that whole story, man, just unbelievable that this guy has traded the two best players on the team in two consecutive years. I mean, who does that? Absolutely unbelievable that the Eagles organization, now he has full right to do it, he has that authority uh, with his deal with the Philadelphia Eagles. They gave him the ability to, to uh, you know, be in charge of uh, personnel moves. And so Chip Kelly is basically trying to make Oregon East. Uh, there's nine players right now on the Oregon team. So supposedly they're going to try to make a move to try and go ahead and get Marcus Mariota to be the quarterback. And we saw this a couple of years ago under uh, – Steve Spurrier, I mentioned it a couple of days ago. Steve Spurrier tried to do the same thing. Brought in Danny Wolfel and a bunch of other Florida players, and it didn't work. It was a horrible move. It was horrible moves, and it looks like Chip Kelly is on that path right now. But So this week's BP Award winner is Chip Kelly. And all this is doing is taking away the strong personalities from the locker room so that he could have more control. You know, and that's what they do in college. You know, the coach in college has a lot more authority and, you know, players are scared of him. You know, he might take my scholarship or whatever. or He might bench me and I won't be able to show my skills. I won't make it to the NFL. So they scare the hell out of these kids. These are grown-ass men. Okay, these guys make more than the coach. The best players make more than the coach. Uh, they're bigger uh, pieces as far as the organization goes when you talk about star plays in the NFL. So I don't think this is going to work. I don't think this whole direction he's taking the team in is going to work. So that's why, Chip Kelly, you are this week's BP winner. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is the Doug Stewart Show. I'm going to read some of your chat here in a second, man. Uh, and the way to jump in on the chat on the Doug Stewart Show is to go to Spreaker.com. Follow the show and then jump into the, 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 the chat room. It's very easy. There's a little chat bubble. It looks like the little comic book talk bubble thing that they used to have in the comics back in the day. And all you do is click on that and then you're, you're introduced to a brand new world of Stu Nation and chat talk and posting and talking about and being interactive about everything that we're talking about on the Doug Short Show. So that's the chat room. And also make sure that you download as well. You know, download the Spreaker app too. Uh, check out the show online at thedougstewartshow.com. We're all over the place. We're on iTunes. We're on Stitcher. We're on iHeartRadio. We're all over the place. But also make sure to take the time to download the Doug Stewart Show app as well from the App Store. Yes, sir. <laughs> JB Jennings, Jim Boheim hemmed up. Yeah, and the breaking news came out about 15 minutes ago. Uh, Boheim is going to lose. What, I think uh, 12 games that they played this year. It's going to lose scholarships. Uh, really come down. The NCAA just broke this news or the uh, or ESPN just broke the news a couple of uh, minutes ago. So I'm going to get more details on that. I'll tell you about that hopefully in the next segment or so. Uh, Jungle Brother, NCAA bogus. Suckers don't want Santa Cruz threatening Duke this all this ish. Uh, Max Jones the third. NCAA BPA nominee, Gary Joyner. Georgetown was militant NCAA powerhouse. J.B. Jennings, nobody want to see OKC come playoff time. Uh, Jungle Brother, OKC needs a coach. Mark Jackson would have that squad balling. I agree with that. And I'm not saying I'm not a fan of Scott Brooks, uh, the head coach of OKC. But I think <laughs> I really, really like uh, Mark Jackson as a head coach and went through the little controversy in Golden State. Evidently rubbed some people the wrong way, and he was out. 
But, yeah, I thought it would have been a good move for Cleveland to hire Mark Jackson because LeBron and obviously all the young players, the great players in this league, have, a, have, an, have an affinity for this guy and they respect this guy. That would be a good move too. I, I like Mark Jackson and OKC. And once again, we might see history made. Uh, as it stands right now, OKC is the eighth seed in the West, and number one is Golden State. I mean, if you know anything about basketball, you could easily see OKC getting healthy, um, fixing whatever issues they have as far as their bench, meshing together. Uh, they added the uh, – What's the guy's name? The center. Uh, they added a nice centerpiece. I can't remember his name right now. I apologize. And they've got they've got a team that could probably beat anybody in the West. Uh, not the least Golden State. Yeah, yeah. So if they get healthy, if they can maintain and uh, you know uh, stay at this eight spot, and maybe even they can move up to seven as well in the West. They're going to be hell to deal with in the playoffs, man. I mean, once again, if you know anything about playoffs or playoff basketball, you know that they could uh, that they could definitely make some noise in the playoffs. 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show dot com. Talking about everything going on in sports, whatever you want to get into. We're also reading a lot of your chat. Uh, we just had your BP award winner uh, announced. And so whatever Tree had to do today, she hit me with a text and she says, you better not have a ninja. Well, Tree, I mean, I mean, you were close, but I mean, I didn't think you deserved the BP award over Chip Kelly. I mean, Chip Kelly did some really crazy-ish this week, and so he had to be awarded with a BP. Yes, he did. 404-382-0338 is the number to the show. I talked about it a little bit earlier. Uh, I was going to mention this story about a player that had to actually give some money back. Kind of sore. You know, Peyton Manning did that a couple of days ago, which is still unbelievable to me. But you know who else did it? Speaking of the San Francisco 49ers, Alden Smith all right, played uh, in just 18 of the possible 32 regular season games the past two seasons, uh, spending 2013 and serving a league-mandated nine-game suspension that began last year. He's entering in his final year of his deal with the 49ers and was scheduled to make $9.75 million in 2015. But he's, in effect, agreed to taking a salary cut, but at the same time, the 49ers are putting incentives back in his contract that are easily, easily, uh, easily obtainable if he can stay on the field. And it's kind of like a good faith type thing. And he didn't have to do it the way I'm reading the story. He didn't have to do it, but I guess he kind of wanted to show good faith based on the 49ers, in effect, sticking with him over the last couple of years. Um, And so he has agreed to this pay cut, uh, once again, with incentives that he should be able to get, he should be able to reach if he can just stay on the field. So I guess that's kind of a cool story. I don't know if I would have done it. I don't know if there's a situation behind the scenes where he had to do it. But, uh, yeah, Alden Smith, uh, new news, restructures his contract for the San Francisco 49ers. If you're a 49er fan, man, how how quick do you think it's going to take? How fast is it going to be before you're back on top? Or is it going to be a down period? You know, kind of like my Lakers are in a down period right now in another sport in the NBA. But no Jim Harbaugh. Uh struggled last year that nice little run that the 49ers had over the last four or five years man has it come to an end what are your thoughts they signed Darnell Dockett who's uh you know he's damaged material I guess the best way to put it uh make a deal with Alden Smith hopefully he can get his mind right and stay on the straight and narrow what are your thoughts if you're a 49er fan man when we get back from the break uh I'll read more chat Wrap up today's conversation and get ready for the weekend, man. Be careful on them streets. Yeah, this is the Doug Stewart Show. System 5 Electronics is proud to offer my listeners in the Atlanta area the most affordable home security monitoring systems featuring smart solutions for your busy lifestyle for as low as $16.50 per month. Here's just a few reasons to choose System 5. Not only is their monitoring station located here in Atlanta, 
but they also install the most advanced up-to-date alarm systems where you can access cameras, lights, door locks, thermostats, and other devices remotely with your smartphone. 24-7 technical support plus the lowest service call fees in the business. And check this. You own your security alarm system once it's installed. Not only have they been around for almost 25 years, but their customer service is excellent. And you get direct access to the owner, Mr. Macy O'Brown, to resolve any issues with your alarm system. Click on the banner on the Doug Stewart Show website or app for more details or give them a call at 404-756-0736. Again, that's 404-756-0736. And make sure and tell them the Doug Stewart Show sent you. Yeah. Fantasy sports fans are winning huge cash prizes every day at DraftKings.com, America's favorite place to play daily fantasy sports. Daily fantasy means no season-long commitments. Play whenever you want. Just pick your sport and draft your team. It's like a new season every time you play, so you're never stuck with the same players. Last year, $300 million were won at DraftKings.com, and you could be next to win big. Go to DraftKings.com now and enter promo code STU to play for free. That's Stu for free entry now at DraftKings.com. Also, if you use promo code Stu, DraftKings will match your initial deposit up to $600. Deposit $600, play with $1,200. DraftKings.com, promo code Stu. This is your folk, Doug Stewart. Want to protect you and your family from life's unexpected mishaps? Then join 7. Join 7 is a prepaid legal company under the umbrella of the Protection Group. Join 7 is the only group benefit or motor club in the U.S. that offers auto reimbursement coverage, key replacement coverage, roadside assistance, gives you a current metafile, prescription savings, and fully encompassed prepaid legal benefits that include identity theft. They got your back. The average combined cost to purchase these benefits individually is over $850 a year. Join today and take advantage of all seven for $17 a month. They've been around for over 20 years, so check them out by clicking on the banner link on my page, thedougstewartshow.com, or the app. Just go ahead and join seven. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show, the realest, trealest sports talk show in America. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for joining your boy, man. Be careful of this weekend, man, on the streets. Uh, bad weather down here in the south in the ATL, snowing outside in some places. Be careful. I want to make sure all of the Stewies get back here on Monday. Yes. Hey, make sure you follow me on Twitter. At the Doug Stewart Show, as well as Doug Two Live Stews. Those are both handles. Some kind of way I got two ways you can uh, catch me on Twitter. At the Doug Stewart Show, as well as at Doug Two Live Stews. Uh, so make sure you follow me on Twitter. And also make sure when you get a second, if you're on Facebook, if you're a Facebook junkie like myself, and I really am a Facebook junkie, man, um, uh, make sure you follow the Doug Stewart Show Facebook group. On Facebook, all right? Make sure you do that as well. It's the party after the party. So when we're done here in about 15 minutes or so, then you can, uh, you know, go on Facebook and whatever we talked about today, you can continue the conversation. It's the after party. It's the party after the party, the Doug Stewart Show Facebook group. All right, all right? So a couple of breaking news um, notes today, uh, one in particular in the NFL uh, Brandon Marshall has been traded to the New York Jets. Uh, right now I'm hearing it's for a fifth-round pick. And Brandon Marshall is one of the better receivers in the NFL. It's hard being good, though, when you play with Jay Cutler, who absolutely sucks uh, for the most part. Uh, but he is headed to the Jets for what we're hearing right now is a fifth-round pick. The trade can't become official until free agency uh, opens Tuesday at 4 p.m. So a lot of these deals you're hearing about are really pending on uh, on that date when uh, free agency is actually opened up this Tuesday at 4 p.m. And also uh, another breaking news story today in the world of sports is Jim Beheim has been uh, suspended. That's right. 
uh, from Syracuse, the head coach of the Syracuse uh, Orange, uh, has been suspended for many infractions. Uh, nine ACC games has been taken. Uh, scholarships have been taken away as well as a result of a multi-year investigation into the university's athletic programs. Uh, over the course of a decade, Syracuse University did not control and monitor its athletic programs. The NCAA said in a statement, and its head men's basketball coach failed to monitor his program. So they don't really have any specifics of exactly what he did, um, but that's the word on Jim Beheim. Syracuse's penalties also include a five-year probation and for the school to vacate all the wins in which ineligible players, uh, basketball students, played in 2004-2005, 2005-2006, 06-07, 10-11, and 11-12, and an eligible football student played in 2004 and 2005. So, yeah, in effect, there goes the reputation of Jim Beheim and their Syracuse basketball program forever. Like, I don't know what's going to come out of this. I don't know if there's going to be an appeal or anything like that. But you'd have to think for the NCAA to come down so hard on Jim Beheim and the Syracuse basketball program in this manner, you would think that they've crossed their T's and dotted their I's, right? Or dotted their I's, right? Um, so Jim Beheim is one of those guys that's talked about as one of being, uh, being one of the best college basketball coaches of all time, not just this generation, of all time. And they've won national championships. Uh, Carmelo won a championship. And I'm not exactly sure of one of the dates they had listed that I just read uh, was, was during the years that Carmelo was there. I'm going to guess probably so. Um, and obviously we're going to get more details on this. But, yeah, this is definitely a black mark on the, on the reputation and on the legacy of Jim Beheim, no matter what comes out of it. You know, and once again, I mean, I, I, I always root against the NCAA. I, I do. So I'm a fan of uh, John Tarkanian or, of our, or uh, Coach Tarkanian, Jerry Tarkanian, beating the NCAA in his lawsuit. And I'm, 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 I'm with and hope Jim Beheim, you know, fights this thing and wins or whatever, appeals it or whatever. But right now, it don't look good for the home team, <laughs> is, uh, the way they used to say it back in the day. It just doesn't look good for the home team. This is some really devastating, devastating news. The NCAA finished its 10-year investigation into Syracuse athletics in late October. Uh, Beheim and football coach Scott Schaefer were among the school officials to appear before the NCAA Committee on Infractions, and this is the result. They've been investigating, once again, like I just said, for over 10 years, and you've heard about uh, Beheim having to testify and, and what happened, and it looked like this thing was done very meticulously, uh, very. And once again, for them to come out with this strong of a statement and this strong of a penalty says a whole lot if you're a fan of Syracuse basketball. This is the Doug Stewart Show. Let me read some more of your chat messages here in the chat room from Nine and for Life. Crab is injury prone, prima donna, and slow. He can catch, but no one respects his speed. I guess they're talking about Michael Crabtree for some reason. From K3000. Rel, great mind, bruh. LLS. From William Mack. You've seen what you're going to see out of Crabtree. He's good, not great. I guess they're having some type of conversation on uh, the San Francisco 49ers. I mentioned some of the moves that they made a little bit earlier with Alden Smith, as well as signing Darnell Dockett. Uh, has their you know, reign on the top? You know, been cut short, like short like leprechauns, to quote the great Biggie Smalls. Um, yeah, yeah. They had a nice window there. Now, they still have a great young quarterback in Colin Kaepernick. Um, but really, they had the opportunity with Jim Harbaugh there as their coach uh, to win a couple of Super Bowls. Went to one, uh, went to a couple other NFC Championship games. And really, they might have missed their opportunity to capitalize and win a Super Bowl. We will see. No Jim Harbaugh now. You bring in a new coach, a new attitude. Um, you bring in Darnell Dockett and Alden Smith. Uh, redo his deal, restructure his deal. Uh, what happens with Crabtree and uh, Colin Kaepernick? Does he does he progress? Does he kind of fix some of the issues that they had last year? Do they go back to a style that accentuates what he does in the football field? I think in the last couple of years, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, I think in the last couple of years they've kind of gone away 
from what made Colin Kaepernick Colin Kaepernick. I would like to see them get back to letting that guy do more of that pistol stuff, more spread stuff, and just put it all on the line. You know, uh, you can't play scared. And I've said this and I've railed against the, the whole notion of changing these quarterbacks uh, from what they do well into a more traditional NFL offense. I really hate that. And so maybe we'll see this year. Maybe they go back to, to doing some of the things that made Colin Kaepernick Colin Kaepernick. Let me read more of this chat before I get out of here. From Brandon, um, from Detroit, Matt. Brandon Marshall to the Jets. From K3000, JB, yup. You know they're going to make excuses why they can't give him his worth so that money he ain't getting back. Uh, from William Mack, glad to see Crabtree gone. Wish Vernon would go too. Underwhelming production from both. Okay, so Crabtree's gone from the San Francisco 49ers. Um, let's see. From William Mack, Niners fan here, docking us to replace Ray McDonald and possibly Justin Smith, who was considering retirement, who's a fantastic player, that Justin Smith kid. They're trying to bring Gore back. Crabtree, Stevie Johnson, and uh, Lupati will not be back. Last season, we were missing three of the top five LBs in the league, and that's another thing. Injuries really, and why I would have been even more hesitant to get rid of Jim Harbaugh, I mean, the 49ers were just decimated with injuries last year. They were. And so hopefully they're going to get uh, the linebackers back that they lost and Bowman and uh, Willis, as my man William Mack explains here in this chat message. Uh, he also says in the process discovered some gems in Aaron Lynch and Chris Borland, which make Ahmad Brooks expendable. All that said, our success, whatever it will be, uh, hinges on the shoulder of that punk-ass quarterback and Colin Kaepernick. If he can learn to read a defense, put touch on his passes, and shorten his delivery, we'll be back in the playoffs. Yeah, and you remember, I picked the 49ers to go to the Super Bowl last year and win it. I did. Oh, no, I didn't pick them to win it. I actually picked them to go, but I had the Denver Broncos, which was another bad pick, it looks like. Uh, obviously, I picked the Broncos and the 49ers to go to the Super Bowl. I just thought at some point that Harbaugh, based on how good they have done at an org- as an organization over the last couple of years, that they'd be able to turn the corner. But then injuries just, once again, decimated that team. Uh, so they got a great squad, great talent on that team. Uh, but I agree 100% with the, with the person posting on the chat line. Is, is It all hinges on your quarterback. It all hinges on Colin Kaepernick. Is he going to be a pro is he going to fix some things? Is he going to, you know, spend more time in the in the uh, in the, uh, the the video room and, and watch more tape and get better at reading defenses and get his confidence back? Really, because I, it seems to me that his confidence was kind of shaken last year based on everything that was going on with that team and his poor play on the field, and they just could never get on the right page. So we'll see what happens with Colin Kaepernick going forward this year. Yeah, yeah. From KC, a 10-year investigation. It's not like Syracuse basketball is the mob and they needed to bring down the whole family. From K3000, Doug, shout my 10-year-old son out, going to play for the chip this weekend. Beat two, three, and one seeds to play for the championship. What's that, high school basketball? Uh, Whatever it is, shouts out to K3000's son. Yes. Hopefully y'all win a chip this weekend. Yeah. All of my uh, Stewie shots out to their children playing high school basketball this weekend and playoffs uh, coming to a wrap. Or is the high school basketball? No, high school basketball has been over. I don't know whatever sport he's talking about. He's talking about track and field. I don't know. But hey, congratulations to your son and good luck to him this weekend, K3000. Thank you so much for joining me today on the Doug Stewart Show, man. The realest, truest sports talk show in America. We'll do it again on Monday. That's right. Tree wasn't here today, but shouts out to you, Tree. Even though you weren't here, you didn't get that BP award. So I know you're happy about that. Thank you for uh, all that you did today, Waterhead Walter. Thank you so much in Tree's uh, absence. Uh, Gerald Oliveri, Dwayne Vassan, thank y'all so much for what y'all do and getting the Doug Stewart Show on the air. Once again, we'll do it again Monday. Same Doug time, same Doug Stewart Show channel. Peace.